Everybody here, including us, we're stranded right now. All the trains for today have been canceled. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kayla here. And as you all can see from that title in today's video, I'll be bringing you guys a travel vlog. After traveling, I'm sure you guys can agree that there is nothing like sleeping in your own bed. And I'd like to thank Birch Living for sponsoring today's video. Birch creates mattresses with organic and natural materials that have been sustainably sourced. It was important for me to choose a birch mattress because they never contain cheap, dangerous fiberglass and instead they use 100% organic wool. So you guys see here that I have the Birch Lux Natural Mattress which is a premium upgrade to their original well-loved natural mattress and it is amazing. We've had it for about a month now and what I like most is the comfort level. It simply does not compare to our last mattress. It's so cozy, so soft and it's cool so if you're hot natured and you need a cool mattress this is definitely the one for you. With your Birch mattress, you get a 100 night sleep trial along with a 25 year warranty. The best part about all this is that your mattress is delivered right to your door for free within the US. They also offer in-home setup and removal to make your buying experience as convenient as possible. I love my Birch mattress and I think you would too. If you're looking for a new bed, check out Birch Living. Visit birchliving.com slash YLB to get 20% off a Birch mattress plus two free eco rest pillows. Thank you so much Birch for sponsoring today's video and now you guys let's go ahead and get to traveling. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kayla here. Thank you all so much for clicking on today's video. As you guys can see, we are in the airport and we are about to get on our flight to Paris. But we are going there to celebrate my best friend's graduation. And um, before we get there, we're gonna be going to Amsterdam and we're also going to Brussels as well. And I decided to go ahead and vlog for you guys because it's been such a long time since I brought you guys a travel vlog. So let's start off with my travel fit. I have on this cardigan from H&M. Actually, the whole outfit's H&M. Even down to the shoes. So, so yeah, y'all, I'm really, really excited. I think this is gonna be a long vlog. We'll see. But just stay tuned and I'll talk to you guys when we get on the plane. We got off here at Brussels and we got completely lost. It reminded Marcus and I of an episode of The Amazing Race. And you know, the people, they, they're they running around trying to find out how to get to A to B. And yeah, we got lost, but we made it here on the train. And um, this is our last train for today. So as soon as we get to Amsterdam, we're gonna go to the hotel. But yeah, I'm really excited. I really feel like we are on a journey around the world. I'm a little tired, but it's well worth it. Okay. 
Okay y'all, we made it to Amsterdam and we are in our room. It's quite groovy, I must say, but I do like it. Here's our view from the outside. Amsterdam is so pretty, you guys. I really, really like what I've seen so far. So anyways, our room is super small. So this is the bed right here. Over here on this side is like the little kitchen area. This is the door. Hey, y'all. And then we have a TV where we're putting our luggage for now. And then over here is the bathroom. I really like the blue towel. It reminds me of the bathroom at home, but I, I actually thought the towel was going to be green in that room, which would have been nice. A new change, but it's cool. And then here's the shower. The blue. And, um... And then behind this door, right over here, there is the bathroom, which is really like moody in here. It says that ambient lighting, black toilet, pretty nice. We're only here for one night. So the plan is right now, we are going to just freshen up a bit and then we are gonna head out and start exploring Amsterdam. So first up, we made our way over to Fabel Free, which is known to have the best Dutch fries in all of Amsterdam. They are double fried and they are well known for their Dutch fries topped with truffle mayonnaise and Parmesan. So that's exactly what we got. And Marcus also tried a salmon croquette, which he said was really great. It was cool to see the process of them frying these, I always want to say french fries, but they're Dutch fries and they were absolutely delicious. Next, we journeyed over to Van Wonderen Stroop Waffles because we could not come to Amsterdam without trying a Stroop Waffle, which is basically a cookie and it has a caramel filling inside. It was absolutely just so scrumptious. I wish I could eat another one right now. The line for this place was wrapped around the corner and we really enjoyed like all of the decor inside. Marcus opted for Oreo and I got salted caramel and y'all, ugh, these were so delicious. So after those yummy cookies, we went over to the Anne Frank Museum, but tickets were completely sold out on this day, so we just walked by her home. If you are visiting Amsterdam and visiting the Anne Frank Museum is something that you like to do, definitely get your tickets in advance because they sell out like weeks at a time. So anywho, we decided to go ahead and do a canal tour because Amsterdam is known for their canals and their architecture. Wow, it's the most beautiful thing at night. Good morning guys. Uh, 
We woke up really early this morning to just get a jump start on our day, being that it would be our last day in Amsterdam. So anytime we go to a different country, we love to visit the grocery store or a gas station just to try any of like the local snacks they might have. So we found our way here at Albert Heijn, and I'd say that the prices are pretty comparable to the US. And we also found a lot of yummy items that we've never seen before. Yum, yum. Ooh, milk Oreo chocolate. Oreo white. Milk. And an Oreo brownie. Now these look fire. Paprika flavor. I wonder if, I wonder if these are good. If we do get chips, I just really want a small bag. Nibbits. Oh look at these, the Cheeto Puffs. Oh my gosh, they have flaming Hot here. I wonder if it's actually flaming hot. Ham and cheese. Mojito. Pouring down raining here in Amsterdam this morning. It's so cold, wet, windy. We actually just bought some ponchos at the grocery store. Whenever we go to a new country, we like to just check out the grocery store and buy some snacks. So we got a lot of things right over here that we'll eat and taste for you guys on camera. So the plan for today was that we were going to rent bikes, the bike around Amsterdam, and then we're gonna get breakfast at this little deli. There's this cookie shop we wanna go to, an outdoor market, which if, I don't know, that might be closed, but it says it's open seven days a week. And we were going to like visit Central Park here, and that was pretty much it, so. And then our train leaves at one to go to Brussels. But yeah, so this weather makes you want to curl up and watch Harry Potter. Yo, anything on bread is for any <laughs> meal. Anything on bread is breakfast, so. So Marcus is trying this smoothie. What would you say? Okay, I'll just pop up the rating. Let me see the label. It's garbage. What do you think? It's a little watery. Okay. It's tart. <laughs> it's not sweet at all. Oh, this, baby, this ain't America. Everything ain't got <laughs> sugar and hot fructose corn syrup. That's natural strawberry. Y'all, it's scary out there. Y'all hit a wind. I have no idea what it is. I have no idea what flavor it is. Okay. Okay. The flavor. So I was like, oh, really? when in Amsterdam. I yeah. Pretty good. Don't set it off. It's, it's like, like nutmeg. You can't use. Okay, ready? Oh. These hit. It's some kind of barbecue. Like a light barbecue. I don't think it's a barbecue. Zonuts. Not so dark. Huh? It's not very sweet, which is good. 
melon gum. I'm so excited for these. How delicious. These are so cute. Uh -huh. This is good. So after receiving this alert on our phone to stay indoors in the extreme wind, we kind of just decided to let go of all our plans and just wait around until one o'clock for our train to Brussels. So here we are eating downstairs in the hotel lobby. It was pretty good, I might say. <laughs> Kayla had to get a special order of cocoa. That is the Versailles on the train. You guys will never believe what happened. So we showed y'all the rain, how crazy it was going. There was a storm that came through. And so I told you guys that today we would be going to Brussels and we had all these plans. Well, the plans went out the window when the storm came. So we decided to stay in the room, nap, eat at the hotel breakfast. But now we're at the train station. And everybody here, including us, we're stranded right now. All the trains for today have been canceled, you guys. So we got here not even knowing that the place we had made the reservations didn't tell us. Um, so we either would have to use those tickets for today, tomorrow, and find a comp new accommodations tonight, or we would um, find a different means to get to Brussels. So we actually did that. We're actually gonna be taking the bus tonight to Brussels at like 8 p.m. So it's like, what time is it? It's 1.30 now, so we have seven more hours here in Amsterdam to kill, and it's raining like crazy. It's really, really gross. We bought these ponchos earlier. You guys saw, we've been wearing them, looking as touristy as ever, we don't care. And then I also just brought an umbrella because we're just about to be walking around Amsterdam with all our luggage in the rain. But we have plans, so we're gonna go to the cookie shop and we're gonna go get some pasta, pizza, just some nice comfort food. And then after that, I don't know what we're doing, but we'll probably try to stay at the restaurant for as long as we can. Central Station. All right, y'all, so we are in the train station. We could not get an Uber at all to go to the cookie shop. So we're really living like locals now. We're taking the metro and um, it's really only one stop. <laughs> we stick out like sore thumbs with these ponchos on, but. As somebody walks by with a poncho. Yeah, so ours are red, like bright red. And they say, Amsterdam, show them the back of this. <laughs> it's really like obnoxious. Can they see? Mm-hmm. Don't they say I am? Mm-hmm. If you guys cannot tell, when we go to new countries, we like to indulge in the cuisine. Like we are total foodies when we are outside of the US. And I feel like it's really fun to just try food from different places. So here we are at Ben's Tripo Kukumark, which was on our list, but it was way too rainy earlier to come here. And y'all, these cookies are so delicious. They're like brownies with white chocolate. Ugh, they're, they're bomb. You gotta try them, y'all. Oh, that's so cute. Yum, yum, yum. Come on.
waiting at Dante. It's just a really yummy comfort meal. We decided to go over to the flower market, which actually was closed the day before when we got here in Amsterdam, just to see what all the hype was about. So basically here, they just sell a lot of tulip bulbs. So I thought that was quite interesting, but I didn't decide to buy any because I did look at the reviews before I came here and um surprisingly a lot of people are saying that when they bring the bulbs back home they don't grow i don't know how true or not that is but i decided not to take any chances y'all already know me and my green thumb situation i've gotten a lot better but i haven't grown successfully grown anything from seed before however it was just a really cool experience to see all the different varieties of tulips that they offer Somehow we found our way into Starbucks, I guess just to kill more time. Y'all, we had a lot of things that we'd wanna do if we knew that we would've been here a little bit longer at Amsterdam, but with the weather being as cold as it was and as rainy and windy, and then also um, us lugging around our bags, it just wasn't the most ideal situation. We just kinda wanted to curl up in little balls and sit down somewhere. I also found it really cool that the Starbucks had like cinnamon rolls and pancakes. I've never seen that like back home. So that was really interesting. Brussels after a bus ride here getting on a tram we're in the hotel we're staying at this place called urban yard it's really really pretty so I'll give you guys a tour before we mess it all up and get in the bed and go to sleep it's currently like 11 o'clock at night I think it's pretty late but anyways you come in the door right here there's a little mirror this little wallpaper mural is so pretty getting all the inspo this is actually of brussels because i see the little atomic thing right there um yeah there's just a lot of landmarks in here that look pretty cool and then and then we have our bed which looks really nice and a little rug underfoot that's pretty there's a desk area here a tv and then in that door is a bathroom marcus is in there right now and then let's see our view it's quite loud in here i'll be honest oh okay yep there's our view oh the window was open so let's figure out how to close that guys because i have to tell you how marcus almost got pickpocketed we don't need anyone jumping up here tonight baby i need your help closing the window it was like open Okay, y'all, so we were getting off the tram, and then Marcus, when we go up the steps, because there's a lot of steps so when you go down. So you guys have probably been on a metro before. you got to go downstairs, go upstairs, blah, blah, blah. We've been walking all day with our suitcases, so these are our suitcases. The blue one's mine, and then this one's his. So I have my bag on my shoulder, and Marcus has this bag, like, actually, this is the exact setup he had. So he's carrying his bag, in my bag up the steps minus the black bag that's on my shoulder right this guy who's coming down the metro all of a sudden he kind of like comes i'm inferring he comes behind marcus and like trying to pretend to help marcus carry this bag that has like you can kind of see that this is probably more of a bag that you keep more personal items in so he's pretending to help and all the while Marcus like, oh no, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Like, it's okay, bruh, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. This guy is steady trying to help. So I kind of let Marcus get in the lead because they're moving, very, like Marcus was moving very quickly up the steps. And I could see the guy wasn't even helping, y'all. He was trying to fish through the bag and get the cards, the, 
get whatever he possibly could and at the same time his friends were yelling at him who knows what they were saying or what language they were speaking but I just felt like oh my gosh we should get here like right away in Brussels and someone's already trying to pickpocket us so we gotta stay on our toes when you traveling you gotta protect the bag <laughs> Okay, we're delirious. I, I don't know. Okay, whatever. It has blessed us so much. I'm so happy to be here. We're supposed to be here. What time are we supposed to be here? We the train's supposed to be there at 1, so probably like 3 or 4 o'clock. We would have been here at 3 in the daylight, but instead we're getting here at 11 p.m., so it's probably a totally different crowd out right now. Right. On a Wednesday? Is it Wednesday? Yeah. On a Wednesday. But yeah, we look like serious, so people are, you know, yeah, obviously you are these they're going to try us. But nothing was stolen, by the way, if you're curious. Nothing was stolen because I basically, like, moved the guy's hands. Like, okay. physically had to touch his hands. Ain't nobody that nice. And, like, move them away from his bed. So, yeah. Um, but anyways, we're at the hotel. I need to check the bed out now. That's one thing we always do when we get here. We remove these pillows because, you know, they don't wash these. They never wash the throw pillows. So, I'm going to just put them over here. Well, we have covers. Yeah, like, these are just decoration pillows. So, take that off. And then we're checking for stains, checking for bed bugs, which... Usually for the bed bugs part, you'd have to turn out the light. So right now I'm just kind of looking for stains and things like that. Looks nice. And I like that they have a metal board because a lot of times the quilted boards and things like that, they can have, um, oh, it's wood. They can have bed bugs in them. So yeah, it looks good. What I can see looks fine. Oh, what are these? Baby, we got some treats. I don't know what they are. We can try them for you guys on camera. And then now that Marcus is out of the bathroom, let me look at this side real quick. Okay, yeah, the sheets look great. And we'll turn off the light in a second. Let me show you the bathroom. Okay. Oh, yeah, this is what our toilet looked like in Amsterdam. So, yeah, that's that in there. Let me see. Babe, you made sure the window is closed because listen, we're on the first floor, y'all. Yeah, we're on the first floor. And I'm not trying to have no problem. I guess not. Seems like a decent enough texture. It's good.
Good morning, you guys. So, update. We've been bicycling all around Brussels this morning. Our train to Paris leaves in about an hour. So, we're chomping down on this. A Belgian waffle in Belgium. Gotta do it, right? There's also a chocolate store and like a french fry place I want to go to too, but we don't have any time. <laughs> Riding this bike for me has proven to be super duper challenging. I didn't think it was gonna be that hard to ride a bike and I thought my muscle memory would kick in and it did eventually. <laughs> but when I tell you these cobblestone streets, mm, and the hills, no joke. From Brussels, we took the train to Paris, and then from Paris, we took another train to Rennes. The trains are pretty inexpensive, and it makes it easy to hop from country to country, so I definitely can see why a lot of people like backpack all across Europe, because it's really easy to get from place to place, or at least that was our experience besides the train being canceled that day. Anywho, we're in the city of Wren, which is where Mary's graduation is going to take place. And right now we are driving through the French countryside to our chateau for the evening. Okay guys, so we finally made it to Paris. And then from Paris, we came to Rennes to celebrate my best friend's graduation. So we're here and we booked a little chateau that's off in like the countryside. And it looks so, so, so cute in here. So I'm gonna give you guys a tour of the space. And again, the details are really nice. Sorry, I don't know why the exposure was turned down. But um, you have that. And then here's the name of our room, Edward. I wish we could like tour all the rooms. That would be so cool. But we have like a little tea station right here. The china's really cute. And then we have some artwork. And then in here, I don't know, let's explore together. Oh, it's a closet? That's really nice. With a mirror right there. Okay, really nice. Okay, and then let me give you an overall pan of the room. Like, how gorgeous is this, guys? It's so pretty. And so, over here we have like this big mirror type of situation, and like a dresser, and there's another, I think we, Marcus and I were saying like, who, who is this? So we think it might be Edward, who the room is like named after possibly. The couch looks really pretty. Babe, what, the, what do you think's behind here? Oh, so we shouldn't open that. Okay, got a mirror right here. These little things, I don't know if they work. I would assume not. Oh, let's see, here's some light bulbs. Or some lights right here. Oh, that turned off everything. Okay, there we go. Got that lit up, but we don't need it right now. Um, and then here is the bed, which is actually surprisingly really low to the ground, I would say. And then over here we have some more artwork and a really beautiful like view. 
of the countryside of the castle. Um, yeah. And then let me show you guys over here the table. I forgot this part. And then the little view out here. It's like a little lake. It's really cute. Okay, and then finally the bathroom. I haven't even gone in here yet. I'm sure this is another closet. Let's see. Okay. Oh, it's a TV. Okay, babe, we got a TV. I didn't think we would. Huh? Yeah, I showed it to him. Okay, and then here is the bathroom. Oh, wow. Really large shower. Toilet robes and then a really nice sink over here with oh these are slippers for us oh that's nice that's really nice some slippers and different little products and stuff and again the view and this is the carpet in here really really pretty so yeah, you guys, that is the little room tour here in Rins, and they also left us a treat. Really cute. I think that's the name of the hotel on there. And water as well. So we're going to just like get settled and whatnot, change, go probably like explore the grounds a little bit more, and then actually put on clothes because I've had this on since... Well, you guys already know, with like the crazy weather and Am well, yeah, Amsterdam and Brussels, I haven't been able to wear like any of the cute clothes that I packed except for that first day where I wore the plot dress. So I want to put on something cute, possibly, and then go walk around for a bit, and then we're meeting up with my best friend later for dinner. I just want to frolic through the countryside. This is French countryside. All right, y'all, so we have left the countryside, changed my outfit, and we are in like the city, city of Rennes. It's actually pretty crowded. I saw a lot of crowds. I don't know what's going on, but there's some crowds like down over there where I saw some tall buildings, who knows? But we're here outside of this building to see Mary, my bestie, a maid of honor in the wedding, you guys. And she's coming down to get us any moment now. It's been like a really long time since I've seen her, so I'm super excited for us to connect again but yeah i was i'm um, just telling marcus earlier as well like it's crazy how we went from today like bicycling through the crazy city streets of brussels to the countryside like french countryside to now in another city
Good morning, you guys. So it is a new day in the chateau in Ren, and this is our last day here because we're finally going to Paris tonight and staying at a different place, which will be the last place for this leg of the trip, our last hotel. But yeah, we slept really, really good last night. This room doesn't have any AC. I think it has heat though, but um, surprisingly, we didn't need the heat last night. I mean, the AC last night. Um, the bed was really comfortable. Would you say so as well, babe? No, <laughs> um, it is on the firmer side, but I don't mind. <laughs> Bless you. I don't mind a firm bed. Anywho, it's almost or is about 8:30. It's been so hard getting Ubers from this location though. So if you are planning on like coming to the French countryside and like staying in Rennes, I would probably rent a car. Which I forgot to even tell you guys the story yesterday. So it was even hard to get an Uber coming to this location in the first place from the actual train station. And um, we tried to rent a car yesterday. Tell me why she said 205 euros for one day. It just, it's absolutely insane. And then a lot of other places, cause that was Enterprise. A lot of other places, they just didn't have any availability. Like all the cars are booked out. So I definitely think that would be the best option if you do wanna come stay here. The sun is beaming today, like wow. Okay, we're not used to sun in Europe because every every day since yesterday has been like cloudy, rainy, all of that. But anyways, this is what I'm wearing to graduation. This little checkered gingham little dress and we're having a picnic later. So I thought this was like the best of both worlds, a little dressy and like also picnic vibes. And it has a little fringe, has a little fringe right here. We've had three Ubers cancel on us, or maybe four so far. And even the guys' numbers that we got yesterday, we were like, okay, if you need a taxi, if you need someone to come get you, we'll come get you. They're not answering the phone this morning. And I, I feel like that's because people don't get up super early here. Like things don't open until like 10 or noon. And it's, like I said, 8.30. So, you ready to go? All right, we're heading out and I'll catch you guys up probably once we get to graduation or breakfast. Update. I think it took an hour and a half for us to get here collectively. I believe there were six of us and like 12 bags, at least six, seven suitcases. Um, but we made it here about 10 30 and we were here in time to see Aji Mary walk. It was awesome. It was a longer ceremony, so we showed up just in time, um, as you guys see by the fridge. And they had hors d'oeuvres and everything afterwards. So we have other plans for the rest of the day. Um, but our main plan is to be sure to catch the train at 7 p.m. 
All right, guys, we made it to Paris after a really, really long day. It's been a good day, though. Like, seeing Mary graduate, we are so, so, so proud of her. Like, she did the thing, and she did it really, really well. So, we're now in our Parisian hotel room, and like I mentioned to you guys earlier, this is the last leg of our trip, so I want to give you guys a final room tour of where we're staying, and then, of course, I'll tell you guys, like, all the details about it. Okay, so this is the door where you come on in. And let me give you just like an overall look at the room. It has a really like plaid theme. I don't remember this, but Marcus says he does. I just remember it being black and white. So this is the bathroom. I'll take you guys in there in a second. Of course we have the bed. And then outside of these two little windows is actually our balcony, but it's really dark now. It's like 10 p.m. so we can't show you, but I'll definitely show you in the morning. Maybe we'll like eat breakfast out here. Actually tomorrow we go to Disney, so I don't know but I like the little pendant lights over the bed. Those are cute. And y'all know I'm gonna check the sheets, make sure those are good. And then over here we have like the TV. That's the door where I came from. And this is a little sitting nook area where they have a coffee machine or this is just a hot water machine, I guess. And then some water. And then I'll give you guys a quick look at this. Of course, like I said, I'll give you a better look in the morning, but look how cute that window is. Adorbs, and this is all I can see from like right now. Like I said, tomorrow, I got y'all with the view. Cause I wanna see it too. Also, there's this artwork here, these guys, like really vintage artwork, which is cool. And here is the bathroom, which is, you know, <sighs> I don't know, interesting because I wouldn't expect it to be like this close to the bed, but it is. Roll out of bed and hop in the bathroom. So that's me. And this is what I do remember about the hotel, just like all the black and white. I'm actually gonna turn on a towel warmer. That's really popular here, which is awesome. And we have everything you need, floor, sink, really vintage looking. And then over here is the shower really nice yep and so that looks like everything just close these little pocket doors completely forgot about this but it's right behind the front door where you come in and right now we just have a lot of our stuff in it so they gave us slippers down here and then there are robes and I'm assuming this is a mini bar, safe, just a whole closet situation. I don't know if I'm gonna hang up my clothes, probably not, but hangers are there. And yeah, y'all, that's it. After settling into the hotel, we went over to Mary's auntie's house and she had cooked a really beautiful spread. I mean, there was lamb and rice, salad, bread, egg roll or like spring rolls vegetable rolls meat pies y'all and it was all so so yummy and delicious and then we're going to be moving on to the next day which is going to be a whole disney day today's high will be 90 and the low will be 67 that takes us straight to Disney. Uh, it's my first time being on an electric scooter and when I tell you, it was really scary. Um, another learning curve. I'm doing a lot of things I feel like I have never done or 
just wouldn't imagine doing, but really excited to get to Disney today. Here's our um, shirts. We all have matching shirts. So of course mine says Kayla, Marcus. And I also have on these little Disney earrings. They're so cute. I got them from Marshalls. And just in case I don't buy ears there, I bought some ears from home. And then let me show you the back. I can't remember what it says right now, but. Mm -hmm. It says all dreams come true if you have a courage to pursue them. Something like that. And that is a beautiful quote. But yeah, we um, are just relaxing, enjoying these drinks. I'm gonna down this because I'm so thirsty. Okay. All right, so first we gotta go through security. Yeah! All right, to Disneyland. Welcome to the happiest place on earth. Yeah! <laughs> Anytime I go to Disney, I, it always feels super duper magical. So on this day with Mary's family, we went to um, Walt Disney World and then we went to Walt Disney Studios, I think. Yeah. So it was absolutely, it was just so much fun, y'all. So in comparison to the one in Florida, I would say that here the advantage is that it's way less crowded. I mean, way less crowded. The wait times are significantly better. And for the majority of the rides, they have a single rider lane. And that just does not exist at Walt Disney World in Orlando. So for those reasons alone, I definitely recommend that you guys come here. A lot of the rides are similar. Some of them, um, they do like speak in French and then they have like the subtitles for you to be able to follow along, which is cool. But um, yeah, for the most part, the rides are pretty much the same. The food is a little different. Like there's some things back home that we don't have that they did here and the laser show light show fireworks show was also different it was way less fireworks um than i'm used to but it was still super duper beautiful like how they lit up the castle and everything and like with the lights and things like that so yeah definitely recommend it coming to disneyland piers
good morning you guys update disney last night was so fun we had the best time i if you've never been to disney you should totally go if you're ever in paris go to disneyland paris like the treats the decor everything the rides they're so cool so fun so cute if you like cute things do it and also the wait times are so much better than back home you can wait for like 20 minutes and be on the ride and they also have single rider lines single yeah single rider they don't have that back home at disney they only have it at universal i don't know why though but anywho um the longest we waited for a ride was 40 minutes and that was for big thunder mountain back home they're turning into like a tiana's ride tiana's bayou ride so it was fun to be able to ride that even though that ride's discontinued back home and like i said that was 40 minute wait but it was such a fun ride i would do it again in a heartbeat it's probably my favorite ride and um that we did there so we did disneyland and as you guys saw we did a waltz Walt Disney Studios so we had to pay to get into both parks and we ended off the night with a fireworks show and then on the way back home on the train ride I started to feel really terrible like I was sniffling and I had a headache and all of that and I thought it was because well the headache part because I hadn't eaten um like a proper dinner yet and then this morning I thought okay I'll probably feel better in the morning but I still have the sniffles my throat is hurting so I've been drinking a little bit of tea and um i just feel bad like i feel really terrible to the point where i really don't want to do anything i just kind of want to stay in the bed it's almost three now and i have not been outside in paris i feel like i'm wasting the day away i have edited a video for you guys though since i gotta be productive um so the living room makeover is gonna be going live soon so that's how you guys know like well Anyways, that's going up soon, so if you haven't watched it, check it out. Let me know what you think about how the living room turned out. Marcus just went to the pharmacy to grab me some medicine and grab me some more tea because I do want to, like, still get out. I don't think it's COVID or anything like that. I think I am just have a plain old cold. I haven't been sick in a really long time. Um, and I think it came on because you guys know it was raining so much in amsterdam i didn't have a proper jacket um even though we bought those ponchos the rain was still like hitting because my afro the poncho wasn't able to fully come over my head so the rain was still like trickling like down my face on my forehead and all that and it was really cold so i think like being in the cold and in the rain in amsterdam just really made me sick the weather um i think that's what it was but there's no way to know for sure and yeah so i'm a little nasally <laughs> if i sound nasally in that voiceover that's why you can take the card uh -uh. you want me to not have to knock on the door So y'all, even though I didn't want to, I decided to go ahead and just stay in the room, rest up, and try to get better, especially since all the pharmacies were closed on this day. I think it was Sunday, and um, we weren't able to get any medicine, so I still felt like extremely awful, <laughs> and there was no oh, getting sure better does. until I got some medicine, and the tea didn't help too much. So anyways, Marcus went ahead out with Mary and her family as they continued to see like all the beautiful sights around Paris. So they went to a lot of fun places to see them like at night and I wish I was there, but um, they were sending me pictures all the while in the hotel room and I'm just like crying my eyes, literally crying my eyes out in the hotel room because I'm not there with them. But it makes me so happy to see these clips on all of these are the ones that Marcus took while he was out on their adventures and it's honestly so beautiful.
Good morning you guys, it's a new day. I'm feeling a little bit better. Marcus brought me some medicine, so it's starting to kick in, I feel like, but also I've just started to feel better when I woke up this morning, so I'm getting like some little souvenirs for my family. We're at this store called Model Pre. I'll show you guys outside, but when I tell you, they have like super cute home decor stuff. So I really like this cup. So I was thinking about getting this. I feel like that's really pretty. This picture orange juice and stuff you know Halloween's coming up so these are $4.99 each but yeah this is a lot of the stuff that they have so I'm thinking about getting something like like one of these cups or something $11.99 euros oh wait it's a rug this is what it looks like <laughs> these little oranges I feel like this could go for Halloween because it looks kind Stuff here for like pretty affordable prices. Since I was feeling a bit better today, we decided to get an earlier start so I could go see a few of the things that I missed yesterday, like the Eiffel Tower and going to see the Louvre. But of course, all of those I saw within the daytime and they were still beautiful. We grabbed breakfast at this baguette place and it was super duper yummy. Their French toast was so good, y'all. I ordered two and I ate all of it it's just so yummy i love french toast we also saw a few other like cool landmarks before going shopping by champs de elise hope i'm saying that right and we're going to the store called Gerlain. Tell us what you got going on. Okay, y'all, so we're in Guerlain, which is a perfume store, and the perfumes just smell so good. I only have one designer fragrance from Chanel, which Marcus bought for me, but now this Guerlain brand, he was saying how, like, a lot of them are only in French here. Some are exclusive. Like, this one is only sold in France, so I'm getting this one, the vanilla, and I'm also getting a cherry scent, and it smells so good. Um, Do 
我很想，想呀。现在我这里看到的是普洱茶带上了雅兰，这就是普洱茶。然后我们在最近看到的是这个，这个我好喜欢这小天使啊，这个。That stuff called creature comforts. Okay, y'all, so we are about to close out our journey here in Europe. And so we were meeting up with Mary and her family, I believe at a cathedral. But y'all, the exit that we got off on at the metro, when I tell you it was so many steps to get out of the metro, and then there were three flights of steps with over like 100 steps probably to get all the way up to where the cathedral was. It was insane. So I definitely recommend if you ever want to come to this location where you put the cute little locks on the railings and things like that, definitely, definitely, definitely recommend taking a car or even, we didn't know this until after the fact, but there is like a tram that will take you up here so you can forego walking on the set. So after, with being sick and walking up all of these sets because I didn't know that it was going to be like this when we got here it definitely took a toll on my body at this point like I was kind of like out of it a bit but just trying to keep it together because I wanted to be and like spend these last moments with Mary and her family like in a good mood so after that we decided to go ahead and get some ice cream at this Lebanese spot and it was really really great um, and it made me feel a little bit better and then after that, I believe we, what did we do? I think after this, we kind of just went home to the hotel and packed and got ready to close out our European vacation. And overall, it was a really great trip. Definitely the highlight for me was seeing Mary graduate and walk across that stage. It was so exciting, it was so beautiful. And also it was very emotional too. I'm so proud of you, Mary. Like I love you so much if you're watching this. And I you you have been the sole reason that we have come to Europe. So you guys remember last year we went to London because Mary was there doing her studies and so this year she was here in France doing her studies and never ever was Europe on my bucket list, but um, we came to these places to visit her and to see this side of the world and it is really really beautiful So I hope you guys did enjoy this vlog. I know it was long and next we will be voyaging to Kenya. So stay tuned y'all